Peeps, if they want changes, why not create something new? Me. Agreed. Now let me see the version you made that is true to source. There's something I've been noticing that y'all have been noticing as well if you've been paying any attention to the creative fields, to the storytelling and current timeline. There's certain people who seem to insert themselves into certain productions, into certain areas, into certain companies, and want to change certain things for just reasons that are just destructive. It's, it's a destructive process rather than a creative process, and I touched on that in the previous post in this series. But there's also another group that seems to combat these people that just seem to have issues with any changes made to certain IPs. It's selective changes made to certain IPs, when in many cases the changes they're talking about, what they're talking about preserving, was not really the original thing that to begin with. And th before I get into more of this, there's, there's something with IPs. Some of the people create certain things, and then they sell it to other people, and then other people then can create off of that thing. There is a process out there where you can also take something that somebody else has created, and once it's in your mind, it's in your mind. The ideas are out there. There's some IPs that are protected. You might want that same story repeated over and over again, but you can still take that story and then find a different way to tell it on your own. Or you can find other people telling that story in, in, in a way that might be more fitting to you. This That's the great thing about current timeline. And part of my reasoning, which is, I, was, I used to be one of those people, why don't they just create something new? Some of these people are just unimaginative. They can't create something new. They're more focused on destruction. And that's a sad, sad sort of, it's a, it's a sad environment. They're not really social people. They talk about social justice warriors, some of the people do this, but they're very anti-social people. Like you'll have this situation, this hubbubaloo or whatever that word is, coming up with like the Black Panther. You might have heard about this or talking about it's not for white people. So white people, TM, shouldn't talk about this. It's for the blacks. And then I was kind of playing on that. I was like, okay, then with Black Panther, he's, he's an African. So why don't you get just all African actors? Why is Chadwick Boseman involved into this thing? Why are you using him to do it instead of just it should, should it be African actors like Lupita Nyong'o, who was born in, in Africa? Should it be only African people writing it? African people who are uh, filming it? It should be filmed in Africa. But then I think about it like, wait, no, Wakanda is not really a real place in Africa. Black Panthers aren't even native to Africa. This was something that was created by Jack Kirby and Stan Lee back in 1966. And these are two Jewish people. But maybe according to like Whoopi Goldberg, are they, are they white people? Or according to the people who were objected to what Whoopi Goldberg said, are they actually POC, people of color? So it's okay that Jack Kirby and uh, Stan Lee made this? I, I don't know where people necessarily want to stand on these kind of topics. Now, when you take something like a recent Lion King live action, some people said it wasn't necessary to do it, even though it stayed true to the animation. I don't have a kid right now, so I was not in the target demographic to actually go watch this. It didn't really appeal to me that much. But just watching the live action CGI type of thing, that's amazing. And one of the differences that we're living in right now is, yes, they have billions of dollars to market and spread these things. But the tools being used to actually create the things are available to regular average people in the West, I think, even in places in developing countries. So instead of complaining about what people are or are not doing, you can actually go out there and find ways to actually create the stories that you want to be told or find and support the people who are actually telling the stories that you want to be told. You can do it!